So uh, my name is uh, Collins uh, To. Um, I work with Safaricom within the Enterprise Business Unit, uh, looking after um, uh, enterprise operations. All right, so we are here today at uh, Nanyoki Sports Club, uh, being the first uh, of a series of, uh, of golf tournaments that uh, Safaricom is sponsoring as part of uh, the Safaricom Golf Tour. <clears throat> and, uh, and the reason really for, for this sponsorship is to demystify uh, the game of golf, which has long uh, you know, been seen to be a, an elite sport. Um, so to be able to just ensure that anyone and everyone is actually able to, to play the game. Uh, and this is a fantastic opportunity to, to get people to start to actually feel that they can play the game. And maybe, why, why golf? And how much have you invested in this particular game? So, so uh, as you realize, as you said, you know, golf has long been seen as an elite sport. And, 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 and one of the things that, uh, you know, Safaricom six to do is to at least make put some focus there uh, of course you know there has been a lot of focus on football on rugby and on all other sports but uh, very little focus on golf so to be able to actually just grow that game here in the country um, and then of course with a very strong focus on the youth so being able to develop the um, the juniors to be able to actually start the game early uh, so that one day we actually have you know a Kenyan winning the Kenya Open uh, uh, tournament. So Safaricom has sponsored 100 million shillings uh, towards this endeavor uh, and we're really looking forward to going around the country and, uh, and, and really getting this game you know top of mind in every Kenyan's, uh, in, in every Kenyan's mind. And then the last question. 28 and when we started here, we used to be just about two or three ladies. And actually, I think I was the only black. And the others were white, so you can understand. But with the time, a lot of ladies have started playing. We have lots of ladies playing, especially in Nairobi, where these days when we have a ladies' competition, we have more than... Uh, in fact, if it's an open, we have to cut the hard cap because there's so many people who want to play. But most clubs now, especially in Nairobi, are doing very well. My own club, Vet Lab, has more than 130 uh, golfers. And um, I want to thank our lady pro because uh, she's helped us a lot to get the young people interested in golf. She started... Um, uh, we just cut. Let me remember how to edit. Mm. Uh, so um, I, I think I want to really thank uh, Rose Naliaka. She started an academy where she's got a lot of girls who are now playing. And I want to thank also the Nairobi clubs because we have been able to take these girls and make them their own. Uh, in my own club, we have four of them. And these girls are playing incredible golf. They are under five handicap index. So um, there's a lot of growth in the area of um, ladies. We still would want to see more because uh, th 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 there, are there are issues, there are problems here and there. These young girls need a lot of nurturing and um, because the golf area is also a challenging one. So we, we, we are happy when we have a lot of uh, golfers. Today, one of our best golfers, um, Chanel Wangare, who plays in my club, I'm very pl uh, proud of her. She's actually below zero, which is extremely good. And she's only 14. I, in, in Vet Lab, again, we have another one, uh, 11 years old, and she's also single handicap. So we are coming up slowly by slowly, and uh, we are praying that in future, uh, golf will be... Uh, something that people can relax and enjoy. For my senior uh, age mates, it's also a good place to come and um, do exercise. I have a lady in my club whose daughter was my classmate and she still beats me once in a while and she's going to eat it. So I think it's, it's, it's a good game where you socialize, you learn something and you also exercise. Cut.